at some point I saw so many people posting the blood, the blood. I remember at some point I saw many people posting, put the blood of Jesus on your door. Put the blood of Jesus on your door. Put the blood of Jesus on the door. And I, 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 I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it. And then God told me, it takes more than the blood. It takes bl more than the, the blood. So, the, I, I remember there was a day I, I was seeing blood. People put posting the picture of the blood, the blood, blood, blood everywhere. And God goes like, it takes blush. It takes more than the blood. It takes more than the blood. It takes more than the blood. Go read your Bible. And God really pushed me to go read my Bible. God really pushed me to go read and to understand what, what God meant. And I went. I've posted the verse. So whenever that you have time, please, I, 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 I beg you in the name of God to please read the full verse. I, 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 I don't want to go through the, the whole verse only because uh, my eyes are getting really bad and I can't see my glasses, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to read it. But God was saying it takes more than the blood. It takes more than the blood. You know, when we read the story of, of Moses telling the, the people of Israel, put the blood on the door, put the blood, because when the, the angel of death comes, whenever that he sees the blood, please, I beg you to share this video with your friends, with everyone, with everyone you can because this is going to be a blessing god said it takes more than the blood and I, I i was reading the story the bible says as god told moses to to take the blood to take the blood and to put on the door to take the blood to paint the blood on top of the door so that when the angel of death comes whenever that he sees the blood it will pass that's the what that's what the Bible says. Whenever that the, the, the angel of death sees the blood, it won't go inside the house. It won't kill. It won't touch. Whenever that he sees the blood, he goes over. He goes to the next person, the next house. And he can only go inside those who don't have the blood. We all know the verse. And you and I, we have been sharing this verse. You and I, we have been sharing this picture. But God is here to tell you, it takes more than just the blood on the door. It takes more than just the blood on the door. It takes more than just the blood on the door. The verse goes deeper than that. The verse, God was, was telling them what to do. God was telling them what to do. But the blood was just one of the things. The thing he was telling them. The blood was not all that God was telling them. The blood was not the everything that God told them. The blood was one of the things God told them. That's why it's really important to read the Bible. That's why it's really important to know the scripture. The blood wasn't all. There was something. There was a lot of things. God was actually explaining them where to, to get the blood, how to do this, how to do that. But today we're going, we are going to focus on three things that God told them to do. There are three things, three important things that I have been keeping, I've been applying in my life, I've been doing in my life, in my family. Whenever I pray, I remember God has been, God has been directed me to remember these three things. God has been directing me not just to remember the door, or the blood on my door. God has been pushing me not just to remember the door, the blood on my door, but also to remember my inside. Le brasa. Jesus said, God didn't tell them just to paint the blood. But he said, wait, you have to eat. You have to eat. When you close the door, when you put the blood on your door, you close the door, you're inside. You are not inside to sleep. You are not inside to play. You are not inside to be lazy. You are not inside, but you need to know this was happening during the night that when everyone was sleeping. But God is telling them, when you put the blood outside, you are inside to eat. You are inside to eat. You are inside to eat. We all know when it's night, we all sleep. Night time is the time to rest. How can God tell them to eat? When others are sleeping, how can God tell them to eat? When others are sleeping, because doesn't the Bible say night is the time of rest? Doesn't the Bible, is it not God created day and night? Day so we can, we can do, we can do everything. Night so we can rest. How come God is telling them not just to put the blood on the door, but also to have food, also to eat. And it doesn't end by eating. God goes further by telling them how to dress when they are eating. 
we all know we have night clothes. Whenever that we sleep, you and I, 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 I don't wear trousers, so I sleep with my, my dress. I don't know why you wear when you sleep, but we we all go bed with the clothes that we decide to. You and I, we sleep with pigments. We know how we sleep with, with the clothes that we want. We want to sleep because that's night time. No one is seeing us. No one cares about how we dress. No one cares about the outfit we dress. But listen, this is that one place in the book, in the Bible. This is that one place in the Bible. God is focusing on the dressing. This is not a, a New Testament when, when Paul is telling us to be modest and everything. But this is the, the, the old testament but god is focusing on the dresses god is saying when you paint your door have food in your belly when you paint the door you'll be inside eating you're not inside to sleep but you're inside to eat and when you are eating you're not eating like anybody else when you are eating you are not eating like anybody else when you're eating you are eating with the clothes i want you to have you are eating with the outfit i want you to wear you are eating with the outfit i want you me god <laughs> when the angel is passing is not just seeing the blood on your door when the angel is passing it's not just seeing the blood of the door the angel has to find food in your belly the angel of death had to find food in your belly and not just full of in the belly but also he had to find you with the clothes i'm telling you this is in your bible make sure you read the word of god make sure you go deeper than just one verse do not be that christian you just open you see the part of the blood and you think that's it because that's not it even before putting the blood god has to tell them which animal to kill it wasn't just any other animal. It wasn't just any other thing. It's, 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 it's deeper. This verse has a lot of things going on. Here we can see Moses having a lot of things going on. And God telling them this and that. But today, like I said, by the grace of God, we only focus on the three things. The blood, the food, and the clothes. Whenever we go to sleep, whenever you go to sleep, you put the blood. Yes, we all do. Father... Let your blood cover us. Father, we, we, we cover our life with the blood. We cover the door. Yes, you cover the door. Do you eat? Are you eating? Yes, we are all in lockdown. We are all inside our house. We are putting blood every day, every day and night. We are putting blood. That's why we see people, even with the blood, blood on the door, we, people are still dying. Even with the blood of the door, men of God are dying. Even with the blood of the, in the door, children of God are dying. Even with the blood of the, in the door, children of God are going just like everyone. The Bible says we are not everyone. Jesus Christ is, God is going mad by saying, I've not told you, you are not everyone. You, you are not like a everyone. You are not like the world. You are me. I speak life to death. I speak life. I have the power to declare and things will come to pass. I have the power to see things, things will come to pass. But before this virus, before this sickness, Many of us have no say only because we are only putting the blood. We are just ending it by putting the blood. The Lord is asking you today, do you have food in your belly? The children of Israel didn't just end by putting blood. They went deeper than blood. They didn't just end by putting blood. They went deeper in the, with the labor of the Russia. They went deeper. They were inside. Others are sleeping. The way inside eating, others are sleeping with with any other clothes they wanted, but they were inside with the clothes God told them to, to to wear. Have you ever thought why was it important to eat? Why was it important to have that the clothes God is telling them to have? What what's the different? What the different with 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 sleeping, eating, having the blood? What what, what was the different? It's because it all worked together. It all work together. You can't just have the blood and not have food in your belly. You can't just have food in your belly and, 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 and the blood and not have the outfit that the Bible God is telling you to do, to wear. You cannot have. It all work together. That's why at some point Jesus told them, the food that you eat, make sure you eat the food in one day. Make sure you finish all this food in that one night. If you wake up the next day, you still have this food left. You need to burn it. This verse is power than we think. This verse is powerful than we think. Everything that God is telling them here is power than we think. And only if you and I can see God, only if you and I can go to the secret place to see God, we we'll see deeper than this. I, I will not die. Why? Because I know what is happening. 
Le Pasha. Mandara Bush. Do you have food in your belly? Do you have food in your belly? Or do you just post blood, put the blood of Jesus on your door and go sleep? This is not the time to sleep. God didn't tell the children of Israel to, 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 to sleep. God didn't tell Moses to tell, Moses to tell them to sleep. God didn't tell Moses to tell them to sleep. I repeat, God didn't tell Moses to tell them to sleep. God told them, yes. God said, yes. Yes, you put the blood. Yes, it's night time, but it's the time of sacrifice. It's the time you need to sacrifice your sleep. It's the time you need to sacrifice your sleep for your own good freedom. For your good freedom, you need to sacrifice this night. For your own good, you need to sacrifice this night. This night, you are not going to sleep. You'll be eating. You'll be eating. You're not going to sleep. You'll be eating. The angel of death wasn't just passing the doors with blood, but he was also he, he was also passing those who had food. The angel of death didn't just pass the door of those who had food and those who had the blood, but he was also passing the doors of those who have the garment, of those who have the clothes, of those who have the clothes. It's not all about the blood. It takes more than the blood. It takes more than blood to stand. In this moment, in the hard time that we're going through, it takes more than the blood. It takes more than the blood. This is not a time to sleep. The Bible says, as this woman was sleeping, another woman stole her child. As this woman was in the deep sleep, another woman took a child. As this woman was sleeping, another woman exchanged the child. How are you sleeping? How deep is your sleep when you put the blood? How deep is your sleep when you put the blood? How deep is your sleep? The devil may not st steal you, but he's it's it's taking your child, he's taking your cousin, he's taking your mother, he's taking every people that you could have protected if you had food. Imagine all of us having food. Imagine all of us having the clothes that God is expecting us to have because you have to read in verse. I can't, I don't have my glasses. You have to read. The Bible says, Have food. This is not the time to sleep. Yes, children of Israel, you put blood for the angel of death not to come in, but it takes more than the blood for the angel of death not to come in. It doesn't just take the blood, it takes the food in your belly, the Holy Spirit. It takes the Holy Spirit. It takes prayer life. It takes prayer life. The Bible says Jesus Christ has to prepare the cross during the night. Why didn't Jesus Christ prepare the cross during the day? Why did why didn't Jesus go go to go to the garden to pray during the day? Why did he have to wake up when everyone else was sleeping? When did he have to wake up when every other people were sleeping? He, the Bible says he kept going to them and say, "Can't you stay with me? Can't you stay stick with me just for an hour?" The Bible says they were sleeping. They were they were tired. No one could could stay because it was night. But even Jesus Christ knew the power of the night. He knew the power of the night. And let me tell you, this night prepared the cross. I always tell people this. I feel crazy when I say it. But let me tell you, Jesus Christ didn't die just on the cross. He died that night. Because that night, it was between a yes and a no. He accepted the cross, not on the cross. He accepted the cross at that moment. That night prepared everything. That night, that one night prepared three days of, of torture. That one night prepared three days of suffering. That one night, that, 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 that one night prepared everything. That one night. It may seem like we are in lockdown for such a long time. It may seem like we've been locked for such a long time. Like, this is not how God can't time. This may be in that one night. It may be 40 days for us, and a year for us, 55 days for us, but it's one night to God. It takes that one night for us to be ready. Do you have food? How strong is your prayer life? The Bible says, God say, put the blood. Not just put the blood, but you know the same blood you put? Cook. After putting the blood, cook. After putting the blood, cook. Because when the angel of death is passing, you'll be eating. 
when the angel of death is passing, you don't sleep. You are not allowed to sleep. Because tonight is not a night of sleeping. When the angel of death is passing because of blood, you are awake eating. And you're not just eating with any other clothes. You are eating with the clothes I want you to eat. Because after the blood, after the food, after having this dress, the Bible goes deep by ending, by adding, have your stuff, hold your stuff, have it with you. Because after all this, we're going through water. After this night, we're going inside water. After this night, we're all going inside water. Have blood. It is good to have blood on your door. It is good to say the blood of Jesus protects me. But it just doesn't end there. How many people since we started had blood? But they're dying. How many people? This is a spirit. We speak life to it. This is a spirit. People may come and say science is a normal, is a, it, it, it is a spirit. You speak life to it. And you don't just speak life with it, just with the blood. You don't just speak life with it, just one night, just one day. This is not a one day thing. This is not a time to sleep. This is the time to stay all night eating. All night making sure you have full food in your belly. Making sure you have enough. Making sure you have the clothes that God wants you to have on. Making sure you have everything. Because after this, we're going crazy inside that water. After all this, we're going somewhere. And now is the time of preparation. So many people would die. So many people are dying. So many people would won't go with us. Because not everyone woke up that the next morning. Some died. Some first child died. But because they had food in the belly. Because they had the clothes that God wanted them to have. Because they had the blood of Jesus. Because they had the blood of the lamb on the door. They made it. And this is a calling for you. That's why I don't, I don't really find time to, to come live to speak. Even if I have something to speak. Because it's not even a time to, to, to try feed every day. It's not even a time to try find time to feed it every day. It's not. This is the time to focus. This is the time. Like it, it's day. Like it's day. The sun is still out. But I had to because I want to make this place. I want to make this place. When you come in, you 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 know the spirit of God is here. So the window is closed. Everything is. I'm in the dark right now. Even though it's the day, because this is what God is expecting us to do. To have that moment, to, to, to have that moment when we forget about the news. Try to forget about the news. Try to forget about what people are saying. Try to forget about the statistics. Try to forget about how whatever you feel. Try to focus on God. And only those who are focusing on God can be, can be able to listen to God. In this time, at this point, so many people are coming with fake messages. So many people are coming, God said this to me. God said that to me. So many people. This is not the time to depend on others. This is the time for you also to be able to listen to God. The Bible says in the last day, I'll pour my spirit in everyone. The spirit of God doesn't just live in me. The spirit of God doesn't just work on me. The spirit of God was meant to work on every one of us. I see vision. Everyone should see vision. Everyone should be able to listen to God. Everyone. This is the time. The time that the Bible was spoken. It's talking about the time that Jesus Christ said in the last day. The last day is coming. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. And you are not growing. We're getting closer. And I'm not growing. We're getting closer. And we are still like we were last yesterday. This is a calling time. The Lord is calling us to stand. The Lord is calling us to stand. I've seen people going crazy trying to buy Bibles. People are going crazy trying to buy a Bible. And wow, we've been Christian without Bibles. We've been children of God in church without Bibles. Bible are selling fast. People are putting Bible in their house. Many didn't. Yet we've been children of God. How can you be? How how do you start your day? I don't believe in reading my Bible in, in my phone. I'm sorry. I don't believe going on my phone read by. I, I I don't. I'm sorry. I just you don't. It doesn't just work with me. I believe in the paper. I believe in this. I believe in having that time where everything is away. The phone, the laptop, everything is away, and I have nothing else to distract me. I'm here with me and my father. This is the time. It's not the time to play. It's not the time to joke. Like, as I'm talking to you, if God decides to take me tomorrow, glory be to him. If God decides to take me tonight, glory be, glory be to him. 
bro, I'm living my life as if it's ending now. I've always lived my life as if God is calling me back home now. This is how God wants us to live. As if today is the end. As if I'm not scared. Like, like I told you, I, I was here. I was feeling my, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do this. Oh God, I have it. Oh God, I have it. I was not scared. I have it, but I was preparing myself. Because death will come. Not today, not tomorrow. One day, yes. Jesus was God. Death came. Yes, he came back to life and all that. But he had to die because he has to respect the, the law of nature. He had to respect the law of nature because God made it. You and I will go one day. And this is the time of preparation. So many are going. Like, I'm, I'm Congolese for those who don't know. So many pastors died. I saw, like, since, since one Friday to now, more than five Big pastor has been dying through this virus. It's crazy. It's crazy. Men of God going, women of God going, and me, I'm not hurt. I, I can't go to God and say why. I can't go to God and try push and try want to know. The only thing is, how prepared am I? It was him yesterday. It was her yesterday. To marry by me, how prepared I am. Whenever that we are inside eating, we are inside preparing. We are also preparing for anything that may come out of our way. God doesn't care how we die. God doesn't care how we die. He cares, he cares more about where we go after. I may die with this virus. I may not die with it. I may die with something else. That God doesn't care. The only thing to, for him is if I make it. And this is the time we should grow. Because after all this, we're going to the next stage. We're going to the next stage. Let me let you know, not all of us are coming out the same. When you're taking time to play, when you're taking time to social media all the time, 24-7, some of us are seeking God. Some of us are fasting. Some of us are going crazy in the secret place. And you're busy feeding yourself with all the things. There will be a time when all of us will go back normal. There will be a time like where everything will be back normal. And you'll be left with nothing. You'll be left with nothing. And this is not what God wants for us. This is the time that God is building. Like I said... Every, I challenge you, everyone who goes to God and seeks God, if, even if you want to do it now, even if you want to do it later, everyone who seeks God in this period, you will see God in the way you have never. God is standing. God is waiting for, for, for that one voice, for that one voice to say, Father, I need you. Father, I want to know. Father, this. God is just looking for that one voice. Are you that voice? Are you that voice? Have you that voice? We don't know. Maybe God decided to give me one more day. So I will talk this to you. Maybe it's giving you and I that one extra day to seek him. Jesus Christ has to do it. Jesus Christ has to go to the garden to, 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 to speak. To speak to the Father. To prepare. And we can see the difference between someone who has been seeking the father someone who has been in the secret place someone who has been busy praying we can see the difference because what the bible says when jesus christ returned they came to arrest him we can see the difference be between one person who prayed and another person who didn't pray the person who didn't pray a rush to cut the person who didn't pray rush to cut but the person who has been in the secret place took it and put it back that's the power of prayer that's the power of prayer. You have, you are different. It makes you different. It makes you stronger. Even if you can see death coming, even if you can see whatever coming, even if you are, you know the devil is preparing something because you have been in that sacred place, you are stronger. And God is building us. God has been building me. Yeah, there are things I did eight weeks later. I'm not doing it today. The thing I was able to say, I'm not saying it today. And I'm not going to lie to you. God has been working in my heart. My heart has been full of love. I I'm growing inside me. I'm becoming a woman. I'm becoming a woman. I'm becoming a woman. Why? Because I'm taking time to study. I'm taking time to pray. I'm taking time. And God can see I want to grow. God can see I, I want to reach the level you want me to be. I want to be that woman that God called me to be. Because we're getting to the end. How prepare are you? The Bible says they just didn't pull the blood. They have food in the belly. Do you have food? They didn't just put blood on the door. 
they didn't just have food, but they also was wearing, having clothes that God wanted them to have. What does, the, what does Paul talk to us about having the garment of the whole, of the Spirit? Having the clothes. Do you have it? Are you ready for the fight? So many of us, we're putting blood anyhow. We put blood anyhow. And then we come on Facebook. We rebuke the devil. We do whatever with the devil. And we go sleep without having food in our belly. We go sleep without having the garment. And when they come, they take you. Because it takes more than blood. This is the time to sacrifice our sleep. This is the time to sacrifice. The Bible says, Jacob, Jacob decided that day. I don't know. I love, like, whenever people ask me, what's your favorite story in your Bible? Everyone is shocked. I'll say Jacob. Like, I love that man. Like, there's no one in the Bible who has touched me like Jacob. I've never seen that level of, of wanting God so bad. I can imagine him holding the angel pulling him back i i can imagine jacob tr- trying to stop can you i don't know if god has opened your eyes to see angels i don't know if you're already seen angels who are you to hold angels who are you to, to, to try hold the angel but the bible says he said i'm not letting you go he had to fight with an angel that night changed his life that night changes life that one night the power of night the power of the secret place the power of the inside changes life we are inside not to go out the same we are inside not to go back the same we are inside not to go out the same we are inside so that when we go out people see the change so that when we go out we see another level so that when we go out we are not the same people that we were before going out so that when we go out is a different story the Bible says, as they as they put the blood, they, they, they was ready. They prepared. They had food. They had clothes. They had this. The Bible, says, God said, they was holding something because after this, they had to go out. After this, they had to step out. After eating, after putting the blood, they went inside the water. And as as soon as they left Egypt, they never looked back. The story about Egypt was, was behind. They now faced another battle. They, they are now facing, facing Jericho. They're, not, they're now facing another level because it's leading them to the promised land. We are here not to die here. We are here not to die here because you and I, we have to go to the promised land. We are working all the way to the promised land, but we start here. We are starting here. We are starting with all this going on. We are starting with us being locked down inside the house. We are starting with us putting the blood on the door. We are starting with us having the bail, the food on our ba- inside our belly. We are fighting with us wearing the clothes that God tells us to wear, not just to have the blood. And we are starting with hold, having everything that we have. Because in the morning, when Pharaoh woke up and realized his son is dead, he has to let us go. He has to release us. We have to go because we're going inside the water. We're going crazy inside the water. Let me tell you, it's not for nothing that God has to choose the water. It wasn't for nothing. This is powerful than, uh, than, than we can imagine. But thank God today is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what I'm not going deep. But like I said, I'm only covering the three thousand. But they had to go because there's another level waiting for us. And so many of us will not see it. So many are dying. So many are are failing so many are left in behind but that's not the will of god for us the will of god for god is for us to prepare for us to stay strong for us to fight for us to be ready for us to be prayerful because we are going higher after we left egypt we're not seeing egypt again the story about egypt is is, is gone everything about egypt is gone we are not looking this uh, all the direction all the level yes all the level of fight over level of, of persecution, over level of tribulation, over yes, it's part of our life, but we need to go to that level because that level is taking us to the promised land. Are you ready to go to the promised land? How ready are how ready are we to go to the promised land? And this is God speaking to you and I. This is God talking to you and I. This is God speaking. Don't think. Don't think you are better than those who are dying. Don't think you are more stronger than those who are dying. Rich people are dying. I, I thought it was for poor. I thought it was for us. Like normal people. It's not funny, but yeah, we need the grace of God to pull it together. 
We need the grace of God to stand here. We need the grace of God to stay here. It's touching everything. Everyone is touching babies, innocent kids. It's touching rich people. We could see the prince in the prince here was touched. Different people are being, and God is giving you and I common. It's for a reason. It is for a reason. And it is time you and I to realize this reason. It is time you and I to know, go to the Father. Like, even if it takes you to go to the Father and ask, why not me? Do it. Go to the Father and say, Father, why not me? Why are you leaving me? Because it's a danger to live without knowing why you're living. That's a danger. How can you live without knowing why you're living? How can you wake up without knowing why God woke you up? Some of us, God wakes, up, wakes us up to pray for one person. And we spend 24 hours without doing it. When that was the reason. Like, I just want to share this with you. The other day, I was praying with, uh, with my friend. Praying, 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 praying. Most of the time when we pray, we don't pray for us. We pray for other people. And because by the grace of God, God speaks when we pray. And God will be like, pray for this. Well, pray, pray. At the end of the day, we don't pray for us. We don't pray for our family. We just, two hours praying for other people. And God said, I want you to pray for an angel. An angel? I was just like, an angel? God was like, I want you to pray for an angel. This angel has been arrested. He's, he, he's an angel of prayer. This angel is an angel of prayer. He was released for this person. So it is, he, he is that angel that helps this person pray alive. So, you know, whenever that, uh, the person is tired, that angel is the angel of prayer for that one person. And the, this angel, he has been chained for such a long time this angel he has been arrested for such a long time so because he has been arrested the prayer life of that person has been dead so every time the person wants to pray she'll just whenever that, the person wants to pray then you know you know we, we all have time you want to pray but you feel like something comes you want to pray then a cold comes so this has been going and god wanted us to pray for that angel so he'll be released so he'll be free imagine us praying for an angel and we started praying we started praying for this angel prayer 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 fight fight prayer prayer god the holy spirit was there we prayed we prayed and an angel was free this is the reason why i woke up that day that was the reason why me and my friend woke up today so we can actually back up something someone the person that we may not have known the person that god we may not give us the id but god needed us for that day to do just that it is a danger to wake up it is a danger to wake up without knowing your purpose it is a danger to wake up without knowing what god wants you to do it is a danger to to, to wake up without without having any clue it's like you go to work you just go to work you just sit in there you're just sitting there not duty not anything to cover no like you can't do that to work and it's the same thing god wakes you and i up for a purpose maybe my purpose was today to come here and speak i've done mine have you done yours maybe my purpose was to since morning to pray for, for maybe my mother maybe another sister another brother i've done my part have you done yours or are you just wasting your hours? But let me just tell you, when you're not realizing why you're here, so babies are in this hospital. When you're not realizing why, why you're here, so many innocent people are dying. When you're not realizing why you're here, there are people, they work in holiness, righteousness. They are even working, making their way to heaven. They didn't want to go. It was too soon for them. God took them. When you're here, there are so many people that are burying them right now. There are so many people that are breathing their last breath. You need to know your purpose. You need to know why you're here. Because you're not here for, for, for just a waste. You're not here for just in vain. You're here for purpose. Do you know the purpose of your day today? No, that's the danger. And I, I challenge you. You go seek God for the purpose of your day, for the purpose of your life. It speaks. It speaks. It's like that. If God doesn't speak to you, it speaks to you through some, somebody. Like I'm here. There are all the people God is using me right now to speak. This is what God wanted me to tell you today. This is what God wanted me to share with you today. It takes more than blood. That's the message of the day. It takes more than blood. Don't be that Christian. You paint the outside and the inside is empty. Don't be that Christian. You cover the outside and the inside is dying. Don't be that person. You protect the outside and the inside it's not protected. The devil is not, is, 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 is not your, is not your toy. The devil is clever than we think he is. 
The day we can see if we are warm or we are hot. The day we can see if we are still, the fire is still burning or not. The, the day for us, he can see everything. He can see, we can pretend. We can pretend we, 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 we are powerful. We can pretend we can prophesy. We can pretend we can preach. We can pretend, but the day for, we can't lie to him. Even when we are speaking in tongue, you know our tongue is empty. Even if we are prophesying, you know we are empty inside. And don't, God doesn't want you to be that person. He doesn't want you to be the person who protects the outside and the inside is empty. He wants you to be like the children of Israel. Yes, the angel of death is coming. Yes, it's important to put the blood. But the Bible doesn't end with that. I leave the verse with you. I change you to read this verse. It's deeper than we think. So many of us, we don't know the story. So many of us, we only know that the children of Israel, we sing in song. Children of Israel took the blood, the covered, the angel passed through. That wasn't all. It started by telling them to kill. And God didn't, didn't just tell them to kill any other animal. He had to tell them, kill this animal. The animal needed to be one. He, all this condition was part of the, the angel of death not touching them. I'm sure if they killed the dog, it won't work. I'm sure if they killed the lamb who was like two years, it won't. You want because God said he has to be this old, he has to look like this, he has to have this. And when you kill him, you take the blood, you put it on your door, and you don't just put the blood on your door, you also take and uh, take some food you eat. And when you're eating, I don't just want you to eat with any other clothes, I want you to eat with this. And God's gonna add when you're eating, put some sandals, put, have, have shoes. You can't eat without shoes, you can't eat without shoes when you put your outfit, when you have your garment when you have everything i tell you please make sure you put your feet let me tell you they didn't they didn't eat without without shoes was it important to have shoes yes it was important because we know shoes is the gospel you can't have food you can't have food you can't have the holy spirit without having the gospel of jesus christ you can't have it you need you can't have it you need to have it all do you have your sandals you have your shoes when you're eating so you need to go through this verse. You need to go through this verse and read it, read it old, read it old because it's more than the blood. So many of us, we are failing. So many of us can't make it because we think it's just the blood. It takes more than the blood. The blood, like I said, three things that we share today. If God wants me to come back for more, maybe next week, maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe our leaders, if God wants us to come back for more, we will. But we cover the blood and the food in the belly. And also the clothes that God wanted them to, to have. May God bless you. I didn't I didn't say I was going to come live. And I pray. This is the shortest life I will ever have here. Yeah. And I pray this life will bless you. This life will touch you. This life will wake you up. Because that's the purpose. This life will wake you up so that you can you can stand so that you will understand so that you you will know this is more like i told you yesterday i i ask god for more i ask god for more i ask god for more when we read the bible we see oh moses saw god moses saw the tree that's what i saw i saw god it's not a joke i saw god he came out i was looking he came he went back because i was scared and then always we told me look back again i had to look and he came back and he said speak and i had to speak as soon as i said amen he left these are the things that you only can see when you go deeper these are the things you only can see when you search god it's not by force it's not by pushing but everyone who goes closer to god you see moses at some point he said father if i find favor in your eyes show me your glory and the glory was was given to him just as he acts and that's god is the same god yesterday today and forevermore we can see jacob had to hold the, the angel he had to fight he said I am not letting you go until you bless me. I can't leave you. And come on, Jacob was blessed that same night. And this is the God that we serve. And we can also see that the, the, this, this teeth was closer to Jesus. He said, he said, please remind me, remember me when you get to the Father, when you make it to heaven. And he was given to him. And this is the God that we serve. This is the God that we serve. This is the time of seeking God because he's taking us from glory to glory. We can't be a baby. We can't be a spiritual baby. We can't be drinking milk we can't be drinking milk all the time you have been drinking milk in the church for the past 20 years you've been drinking milk in your church for the past four years you have been drinking milk this is the time of having food it's not more in the time of having milk because we are not babies some someone asked me in this comment how to how to read the bible you, how to understand please please um inbox me the question 
inbox me uh please uh, inbox me the question and I'll, I'll call you i'll call you i saw you ask i'll give you a call and we, we we're going to talk about this but yeah it's all about wanting it it's all about wanting it everyone can read the word of god everyone can 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 open it and go through it but not everyone understands it we need the holy spirit and yeah i pray that god god is going to help us god is going to to help us because we need him more than ever we need him now so any question before we before any question regarding regarding today is it was it bible study regarding today's message any question please if you have any question feel free to ask before i leave i don't know next time i'll come live i don't know if i'll come live next year two years i don't know this year again i'm not a live life person unless god pushes me to so is there any question before i go regarding anything you're touched anything you want to know is there any question regarding the preachers preaching so something you didn't understand something you want to know amen eating meat normal milk i love this it's time to grow yes sis uh I'm gonna have my last prayer then I'm gonna have like time to talk to people yeah you can talk to me I'll be able to 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 answer you today is there any question is there anything you want to know how I'm coping how everything is going how to pray how to keep together my counter okay that's a long story but i'm trying to i'm just gonna try to to i'm just gonna try to cut in short so god called me he called me in a very supernatural way because i was stubborn because i was stubborn and who are you to preach to me you know like them one who are you to preach to me i was one so god has to to come and speak to me it was it was my body <clears throat> i've been I, i say this a lot sorry it was my body my spirit leaving my body to go see the church my day and i saw how god judged people i saw how many people didn't make it to heaven i saw how many people were rejected and um it got to my my turn i was before god god was charged oh god didn't judge me he was laughing and then he was more to do like how john was able to see the future so that was that was how i got my cord and the moment i came back inside my body i was scared i was close to hell i was i was crying and god directed me to the man of god who is my pastor right now i called him he came i was crying i was pushing i was doing this and that and um what i saw was was powerful what i saw was was everything and i have to say until that time i didn't really know hell was real not even hell was real no one really preached to me about hell no one really preached to me about holiness righteousness repentance i only believe because i go to church i'm fine i only believe because i know jesus i'm fine you know i didn't have no knowledge at all so god has to start teaching me everything from zero to, to where i am now and the holy spirit has been the best teacher so far so that's how i that's how so um Keep me in prayer, my dear. Yes, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Every time I pray, I remember not the names because yeah, I can't. I won't, I won't be able to. But I pray for everyone. Trust me, I do. Um, mm. I'm so committed to God. How do I make it? Uh, God has been helping. That's something for sure. God has been helping. The thing about me is I know my fight. I know who I am. That's the only thing. I know who I am. I know who I'm dealing with. I know what the devil wants from me. I know like if I go back, if I do this, I'm done. You know, it's all about I think 
as much as I want to please God, but it's also about knowing who I am. It's also knowing about the fight I have. It's like, I'm like, if I step out just for a second, I'm done. If you know what I mean. And I have to stick inside. I, I fight. Like, I had to. I'm not moving. Even sometimes I, I be lazy. Sometimes, you know, it happens. Sometimes you feel like sleeping. Sometimes. But I just, it's all about knowing who you're dealing with. Knowing the demons you're dealing with. Knowing what is going on in your family. In my family, I have serious fights. I... God, I, I am the only one standing. So you can see mom's family. You know African family. It's a huge family. That's family is a huge family. And you're there. You're a child standing. Sometimes when you fight to come to, 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 to say, why? Why only you? So whenever I feel lazy, I remember my fight. Whenever I feel ready, tired, I remember what is waiting for me. I remember I, demons don't look for me. Lucifer does. Because... Because of the work you do. There are people, demons deal with you. There are people, Lucifer himself has to deal with you because, because, yeah, because you know what I mean. So I know who I'm dealing with and I can't play with him. So that's, that's, that's one of the reasons I, I, I'm like this. And I pray to God. If I, there are days I wake up, I don't have anything to ask God. Even if I have my need, the only thing I ask God is to help me not go back, to help me not get tired, to help me. And I, I make vow with God, I do this, you do this. Please, like everything I ask God has to do with me not going back, with me not giving up. So God has been helping me, yeah. Uh, okay, um, the just shaking, I got right, okay. The, uh, okay, the, the first one we said was the blood. We all know the blood is all about knowing Jesus, putting the blood. Yeah. And the second thing was was food, was having food because the Bible says as they were inside they, they was eating like eating eating eating. So which is prayer, which is having food in your belly, having it in your belly. Food goes to the belly. That's prayer and that's the Holy Spirit. And the third time the Bible, the third thing so the Bible says that God was telling them what to wear when they're eating because it was night time. What to wear? Look like why would you care about what i wear during the night or what i wear when i'm eating so it's all the garment and the garment the spiritual garment that paul speaks in the bible and you have to know whenever that, when god was telling them what to have on you also say have shoes have sandals and if we go back to the to what paul told us about our garment you can see shoes is important we have to cover it we we, we have to be because uh, because we're going to the next level so it is about blood it's about food and it's about the garment, the spiritual garment. We have to have it. And the children of Israel, they didn't just put blood, but they had food and they also had garment, clothes covered. So that, that was what we shared today. Everything is fine. The ministry is fine. Uh, God is God is helping. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. By the grace of God, we're planning to go to Africa. I'm planning to go to Africa. I'm planning to go to Africa for the gospel, for, for ministry. But I'm um, still praying. Keep me in prayer. I don't know what country. I'm, I'm in the dark. But um, we trust in God's move. We trust in God's move. Yeah. Is there any reason I don't wear this? I don't wear anything apart from my watch. I don't know if that's still okay. I don't really wear anything. Only because I try my best to be simple. When I'm simple, all this, this is done. Sorry. When I'm simple, this is down. I know I'm not better than anyone. Clothes is a must, but this is a must. No, it's not a must, so I don't. So, yeah, I... I, I, I don't... Simple is the way. Simple is, is the way for me. It works for me. It works for me, and I know Father is pleased with me. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Amen. Uh, you can actually just uh, write me on um, an inbox. God bless you, man of God, Emmanuel Johnson. God bless you. Oh, God bless you, Auntie Marissa. That's my auntie. God bless you, ma. Yeah, uh, okay. I think that was it for today. Please do share with your family and friends because God, I believe God spoke to us. And uh, it was a blessing for me to be here. Keep me in prayer. And I'm covering you in prayer as well. So, Father, we thank you, we glorify you for today. 
we lift off your voice your, your name above or any other name we thank you for speaking to our heart we love you father and we love whenever that you take time to speak to us you take time to prepare us you take time to remind us what we should do and who we are oh god i pray that everything that we learned today everything that you said to us today oh god we stick in our heart in our life forever and i pray that oh god you're still protecting us you keep you keep telling us what to do you keep oh god Uh, standing away everything that the devil is trying to put closer to us you protect us oh god we love you and we thank you once again for allowing us to be here when we know so many are dying so many are facing hard moment thank you jesus we bless your name oh god thank you lord Thank you for speaking all the time. Thank you for showing what you want us to know. Thank you for being a good father, a good friend. Thank you for being a father to the fatherless, a mother to the motherless, a husband to the widow. Thank you for being the hope to the hopeless. Oh God, we can't do anything without you. We can't go any further without you. So God, we are proud. We are so blessed. We are so favored to have you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Keep protecting us, protecting our family. And Lord, please keep keeping us raptured. Keep, keep keeping us ready for your coming, oh God. Ready so whenever you decide to take us, oh God, we'll be able to be with you. We'll be able to see you. We'll be able to be with you forever and ever. Thank you, Father. Bless each and everyone who took time to listen for this. And, oh God, I pray everyone who will seek you for the truth, everyone who will go to you, will come to you and ask for more of you and ask to know something and ask, Father, to know everything that we covered today. Oh, Lord, I pray and I declare that you speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. God bless you all and um I have to go. It was a blessing to be here. So please share this video with your friend and family and if God makes another way we'll be back. If not then Yeah. God bless friend.